All right, guys, out here with the infraction again. And I still have uh, the 22 pinion gear in here, but I did take the spoiler off. I did want to see some of his handling characteristics with that spoiler. I was a car coming by here real quick um, to see how it handled. It is fishtailing just a little bit. With this spoiler or wing off. Staring's off just a little bit. Let me fix this. Alright, we're back. I do feel it trying to get a little bit looser. Yeah. A lot looser without that spoiler on there. I may have to actually put it back on. <laughs> Maybe if I was just going in a straight line and gradually build up to it. It may be okay, but um Definitely is a difference in handling. There's no uh air pushing down on the rear end of this to keep this down. And we definitely go through tires a lot more, right? So I may actually uh, put that wing back on and finish this video run. Uh, or I may just run it like this. And run it at a... Uh, <laughs> I know y'all like, oh my gosh, yeah, why are you doing that? That's the way uh, it was advertised, right? All road car. To do jumps like this. It's actually hitting that, that jump pretty good. Let me show y'all that up close. All right, see if we can get that up close for you guys. A little bit closer than normal. See how lovely that's jumping? <laughs> it definitely is a... Uh, Definitely handling a lot different without that spoiler wing on there. I don't know why. Got a lot of traffic coming through here today. Woo, give me some power. <laughs> I might go ahead and put that spoiler back on because I don't like the way it's... Uh, Ham, let me uh, touch up on some AVC real quick. Turn that up a little bit, see how that helps me. Yeah, I didn't see that. Reverse, reverse, what's going on? So, reverse, it wasn't that it wasn't working. The car just overheated. Um, shut it down for a second or two and we're back up and running so that is something you guys need to consider with this um, even with the stock pinion gear after running it for several minutes on 6s lipo um, you will run into heating issues if we need to get some ventilation inside this bottom but that yeah, the AVC helps out a lot and see I just overheated again all right so for the remainder of this run, I'm probably just going to run it on 75%. We know that um, the other day when I tested it, we got 69, possibly going to be 70 miles per hour out this. And I'll do another test at some point with this. So the speed you guys see here is at uh, 75%. And again. So actually I just found out that my fan went bad on my ESC. Um, never had that happen on any of the other cars. Or my 8 scale cars that I've had. So that would explain the overheating. It was working early when I first turned it on. So...
which kind of sucks because I really wanted to cut loose. Ah, okay. I really want to cut loose out here with this, but apparently I can't. So basically my fan went out on the ESC, so I'm going to have to um, do an upgrade on that um, at some point. It's just not sh coming on or something. So um, anyway, guys, I wanted to run this with this 6S lap. I wanted to get more running of it, so I'll have to um, try it in one of my other cars as well um, after I switch out um, a couple of things on one of my trucks and stuff. But anyway, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos, and I'll be doing an update on this truck as well, uh, giving you guys some of the uh, things that... Um, as I drove it at what I've experienced with it and some modifications that possibly need to be made if you guys get this truck as well. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.